I'm Emma, that's Josh, this is our 50 foot catamaran, and you're watching Sailing Uncut. Good morning guys, um, we obviously didn't go for a run last night, we went to have cocktails with friends, so it's a bit of a late start this morning, but we decided on the way back through to the boat, we're going to stop off at our workshop and pick up some more tools, so we're ready to go with the boat, so I'm going to grab some tools and I'm going to head back to the boat. And Emma said we need to have our respirators because I never wear one, so. For all you YouTube commenters out there. I got my respirator now. Even more respirators. Safety first. The coffee time. Let's get coffee. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, that's unusual. <laughs> Why is it like that? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what is happening? It's like a half half. It's like, yo, you want some milk with your coffee? Some coffee I'm shaking it up. That's better. Are you happy now? Caffeinated up now. All right, let's go listen to Evan and Caitlin. Back on the boat now, we're going to keep working our way down this hull. Um, we were going to do a bit of a tidy up, but we're just going to keep ripping stuff off, which is more fun. So I'm going to get rid of this lining, get rid of this probably bathroom wall here. Ta-da! Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of cables. Oh, I love this one here. This is like randomly cut off that's good cool that's a that's some cable management right there uh let's leave that one we've got to clear all this shit first let's get the bathroom sorted that's it you're gonna tell them what you're doing here give me the camera so rude <laughs> drop me while i'm speaking to you guys all right get out of my face <laughs> We are so hungover. Alright. Did you tell them that we're hungover? No. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> okay. Just to let you know, we are both hungover and just very slow today. So there's probably going to be a couple of arguments that you all get to witness on day four. So, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted is I'm I want to take the lining off obviously because we have to take it off anyway but seeing how this partition wall is done um, as you can see down there it's not really doing much of that right there has caused lots of problems in this boat yup so that's that's going and we because we may or may not be removing where the bathrooms are so the heads are so that was going regardless um should we start ripping yep let's do it I'm not going to clean up too much, I'm just going to get the majority of the spiky bits off so we don't get stabbed with anything. So then we can see what we're dealing with. This was something we always knew we had to get out because of this dumb design where when you're in the shower, the shower goes onto the toilet, through the toilet, into here, and then through here, into just a mess. Complete mess, so that was always going to get redesigned, so I'm glad we did. Well, Josh has been knocking out that wall. I've just been cleaning the space so then we can continue the demolitions down here. And I thought ripping this piece of carpet off definitely needs to be on camera because what is behind here is not fun. 
Now we know that this wall is a problem area because there's been a massive leak that goes from the top and runs down here. So we know what's going to be behind here, but are you ready? Wet. Yay! I'm just going to finish ripping off this lining and then ripping off the rest of the carpet in this area and then I, I'm not going to call it just yet but we're nearly carpet free in the whole starboard hull. This door is really in our way so I'm just going to get rid of it. No one's pooping in there anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, not that we ever close the door when we do poop in there. Oh. Is that too much information? Exactly. As you saw yesterday, we're just starting a pile under the boat, so we're just gonna keep adding this stuff to it, and then when it rains, we'll just put a tarp over it and deal with it later. My back sweat is like next level. <laughs> For the thumbnail, other channels have like boobies and bikinis and, and I'm like back sweat. <laughs> Josh has found previous photos of this boat when it was like originally built and there were smaller portholes in this section and in slightly different spots. So we're assuming that's why this is here. They must have cut that porthole out, added this one and then done this repair. Should we cut the poop pipe? Oh, yes. So in here is clogged. I'm not going to say whose poop it is, but somebody's poop is clogged in this pipe. And our, our fix was to just take the toilet out, cap it off, and just deal with it another time. This is that other time. So I, my plan is to cut it through here and hope it's not too gross. And I don't know if you can see this, but this seacock is actually jammed open. So, we couldn't fix it while it was in the water. Well, I guess we could have, but we didn't. That's getting cut. Are we ready? We're ready. Clog your nose. really bad. have finished that cleanup and we're actually feeling a lot better about it at the moment. The hole is looking a lot less scary when everything is out of the way, everything's off the walls. So we're pretty much just going to stop here and sit on it for a while and we need to obviously create a game plan now as to what's next because we knew what we were doing up until this point and now we're not too sure what it's going to look like going forward. So the last thing we're going to do today is get all this water out of this build that's not meant to be here and this is the problem area that's causing a lot of the wet core that we have been discovering. So gonna get rid of that and then we will see you guys tomorrow.